Fact. And both of them are a negative for me, so. Yeah. Luko. Oh, hey, Luko is here. Sick. All right, so Luko is from Australia. That's and, sick. Yeah, he was PR'd in Australia in Smash 4. Fun fact, he was a Lucas main. And so he mained uh, Lucas and Ness. Uh -huh. He played Nunchuck. Whoa. Like Wemo Nup. Nunchuck. One of those guys, huh? Yeah, one of those, one of those yeah. seven. Yeah, yeah. You're one of the uh, seven. You know how there's the seven swordsmen in Naruto? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah exactly. The seven Nunchuck The builders. seven Nunchuck wielders. <laughs> it's a way less cool name. <laughs> it's, it's a really bad name. Nunchuck men? Like, I don't know how to make it cool. It's really not something to be proud of, to be honest. <laughs> and this Wii Fit was not impressed. Yo, Terry's one of them, dude. <laughs> dude there's like one in every like region, you know? <laughs> it's a protector of the realm. <laughs> they each don't use their Nunchucks. Wait, what, what does he use now? So they get all the flax so that everyone else can live in peace. He's using a pro controller. Of course what is he is. It? Now, looks like it. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a pro controller. All right, confirmed. All right, so now he's a wielder of the pro controller, which to, uh, I guess he was forced to. It's a much more budding race. <laughs> than everyone, no one believes in the nunchuck. Yo, but have you heard about the Wii Fit buff? Uh, no, so but Wii Fit I was saw already some, some tweets that scared me. Yeah, Wii Fit was already pretty good. Yeah. Um, definitely a lot of people put Wii Fit on like, oh, this character's like underrated list kind of thing. Right. And then she got like some pretty big buffs. So I'm actually pretty excited. I think this character could possibly be like potential high tier at the moment. Oh, man. That's a nice change. Yeah. Wii Fit trainer. I like uh, she deserves it. She's been working out. Yeah, I mean, I always felt like Wii Fit was definitely a very interesting roster pick yeah. for Smash Bros. They, al they always got one. They always got to throw one curveball at least. Yeah, yeah. They threw a couple in four, but Wii Fit was definitely one of them. We haven't talked about the game at all. Yeah, Luko's definitely uh, nesting them up right now. Yes. <laughs> nesting them up and Wii Fitting them up. <laughs> I mean, it's a... Uh, both these characters have pretty good projectiles, but Ness has the absorb onto the... Uh, to the neutral B4 we fit, so I, I feel like that's probably why I I do. Yeah, a lot of neutral for we fit revolves around that move. Yeah, uh, and kind of forcing people to approach because they don't want you to charge it, they don't want you to hit it. But right. Ness really doesn't care. He's like, oh, if you shoot that at me, I just get health back. So you charge that all day. Yeah. So um, Luko is not forced to play Haikyuu's game, which is uh, pretty rough for Haikyuu. Yeah, and um, now the Psy Magnet's even better in this game. You can use it as a combo tool. Yep. So you don't even have to use it just for the absorber. And just like that, we see um, just the little one get absorbed there. Very nice parries from Luko. And even though pairing objectile doesn't seem that great, like that particular situation, it's like he was, he was able to parry and like get out of the corner quickly. They buffed oh. it too. Much yeah. better now, which is nice. Thank goodness, man. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> oh, we're going to make this way harder. Like, I'm rewarded for... <laughs> Or I'm not rewarded for getting a three-frame window <laughs> on a projectile. They can still hit me. That's and fine. it's like risky. Like I'm dropping my shield. Yeah. I see people drop their shield in the face of like crazy moves. Like Samus charge. And, and stuff. they just get bopped. And, just <laughs> and then if they parry, it's like cool. Here's <laughs> another one. <laughs> At least the noise is good. You know, that's I, I true. De that's something I definitely respect. The parry yeah. noise is sick. I think in a year this game's gonna look so crazy because everyone's mm -hmm. just gonna have to parry everything, or yeah. they're gonna they're gonna get hit. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, it's gonna be wild. Uh, oh, no. Luko got IQ in a really bad spot right here. I don't think uh, he has a jump. One back throw away from taking the game. Up there will also do it, though. That was a really good call from Luko. Essentially, was just like, uh, I know you're on the platform. Most of the time, people want to jump out of the platform right yeah. there. And pretty much just a really hard call out right yeah. there from Luko. With, without shield drops being in this game, your only options are to drop shield and drop through the platform, which takes so long that it's almost never a good idea, yeah. especially if they're right under you, or jump. And yeah, if you just call out the jump with any up air, it's, it's pretty much bound to hit. Yeah. Yeah. So most of the time, like the safe bet is to just like let them hit your shield with an aerial and then try to get out after. Yeah. But Luca did a really good job of kind of like staggering his pressure, which is really nice. He definitely waited a second. I think with his lingering up air too, it's kind of hard because yeah. like on the way up, if you you know if you drop your shield or if you jump, I think it covers both options. Mm -hmm. Kind of rough, man. Yeah, Ness is, uh, this character is a lot better in this game, especially with uh, him having one of the best directional air dodges in terms of distance. It's a third jump. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, really it's, it's literally jump. his recovery. It's better than his up use. Like, for the, like, 80% of the time when Ness is recovering to the ledge, he should be doing directional air dodges. Yeah, absolutely. Unless the opponent's just, like, literally letting him up be for free. Yeah. And it's just like, what are you doing? But. 
Oh, man. Okay. That Somehow was not punished for it. I think uh, Haki got a little bit too scared there and backed off in a time where he could have gotten quite a good punish. Ooh, there's another buff. The, uh, the berry hitbox on Jab 3 actually is bigger. That was a really nice uh, way to get around that thunder. Yeah. And that's another thing about Wii Fit, too. It's, uh, she has a lot of things to stall herself off stage and stuff, which is really good. But Ness is a character that can like put so much off stage pressure without committing himself. He can just like throw out the PK Thunder, kind of wave it around there. So I feel like that in itself is pretty good against Wii Fit because Ness doesn't have to like commit himself off stage. So exactly. it, it kind of like nullifies one of your best strengths. Or he can just As go he out there. Off stage. Yeah. At, <laughs> all right, Luko. I, I thought you were going to play safe, but you know, sometimes we want the stock. Right. He doesn't want the damage. He wants that little icon. A lot of Wii Fits in that situation will throw the soccer ball, though. I mean, pretty much every time they're off the stage, if there's not a soccer ball out, they're going to throw the soccer ball. Yep. Uh, Luko, recognizing that situation, just kind of dropped down below it and got the fair punish. No autopilot character there stuff against me. Yep, there it is again. Another one? Oh, going. Okay, good mix up right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the Another thing, too, is you can use a deep breathing to kind of stall yourself. Ooh, and can't duck under that. No. Even from the skies. Right now, man. It is looking really hard for Hiking to uh, deal with this nest that Luko is bringing out. I feel like game one was much closer, but oh man, you got to get the stock. 116, uh, basically can't get grabbed. He can still take, I think, one more back air. Uh, definitely can't get grabbed, though. Anyway. And yeah, now he just can't get touched. <laughs> so it's going to be, whoa, wait. Did you? Oh, okay, you're dead. Right? So, so ha has Haiku been using the... Okay, there we go. I, I was going to say, deep breathing was one of the things that actually got buffed. That was probably like one of the biggest buffs for Wii trainers. So definitely uh, should be using that move. Really good move. It's like better than Smash 4 Cloud Limit, which is... Uh, Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, see, like automatic reaction there. But uh, it pretty much makes Wii Fit faster on the ground, faster in the air. All of her attacks are stronger. And she becomes a faster faller. Literally just becomes a better character. <laughs> IQ is slowly but surely bringing this back. Last stock uh, down about 100%, this stock down about 50. So figuring something out about uh, oh. control of the play style. Oh, wow. That's so upsetting. Wait, what? <laughs> That's a physical ball. The whole point <laughs> is that physical things are not supposed to get absorbed or do anything. It bounces just... off. Oh, no. I, I think the magnet actually just oh, okay, hit the ball okay, back. Okay, he didn't right. absorb it. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, because I was thinking about that too. Okay, peace, peace out, man. Yeah, dude, it, it, was a, it was a pretty, like, he was bringing it back. Valiant effort, know? yeah. yeah. I, I love when you just, like, it's sad because I definitely know how the feels in tournament when you just get snatched up by Ness and you're just like, there's oh absolutely no hope. Oh. But as a commentator, you can kind of just get along right to it, you know what I mean? It's like, all right, so this is over, yeah. but, like, the yeah. game's still going on, but, you know. Oh. Yeah, when you're in the situation, it's rough. Dude, the first Evo I ever went to, uh, 